Hi, OLPH families. I wanted to, to communicate with you today as we release our guidebook with policies and procedures as we begin to welcome our students back to school for the fall 2020 school year. I've had a lot of great conversations with many of you over the last two weeks, and I wanted to provide a little bit more narrative of our learning options for the fall. So what will a day look like for a student that opts for the hybrid option? At the beginning of the day, parents will receive a text alert with a health questionnaire that they will fill out before the child arrives on campus. At drop-off, students will arrive in the normal way that they do um, and head into the school through the Harrison Hall doors and head up directly to their homeroom classes. Teachers will rotate into their classrooms throughout the day and they'll stay put in their classrooms. As often as possible, we'll try to get the students out as weather permits for lunch and recess. And specials classes such as PE, music, art, technology, library, and Spanish will continue like they have in years past with teachers rotating into the homeroom classes like the other core areas. For students that opt for our interactive online learning model, they will log into their Google Meets at the beginning of the day at about nine o'clock and they'll have access to real simultaneous live in-person instruction with their classrooms at the same time as their counterparts that are on campus. Each classroom has been outfitted with cameras that are both audio and visual. So students that are at home have access to what's going on in the classroom, but also have the opportunity to ask questions of the teacher and interact with classmates as appropriate. Teachers will present instruction and then also assign independent work so that students aren't looking at their computer screens for the entire school day. So for example, teachers might present a lesson for 15 to 20 minutes and then assign the entire group of students, both in class and at home, independent work so that it differentiates the style of learning that's taking place. At this time, I would like to remind our families that our deadline for registration is Monday. So if you could please use the Google form that was sent out in the email to register each child for your preferred learning option before Monday, that will allow us to make our plans and get those back to you as soon as possible. Remember the options are interactive, online learning, or hybrid model. And there is a checkbox at the bottom of the form which indicates that you would be open to a full five-day option were that to become available for your child's class. Finally, there's some really exciting things going on around campus. We're preparing our classrooms for some socially distant learning. We have our renovation taking place to better equip our nurses in their nursing station. And our teachers are hard at work preparing for an exciting, exciting um, new way of learning this fall. Sometimes it's hard to remember that there is life beyond COVID and um, the challenges that we face as a result of this virus are immense. And as parents, I know that the challenges are real and I have spoken with so many of you and my prayers are with you each and every day when I wake up and when I go to sleep. And I, I know that the struggle is real and please know that we are doing everything that we can to just do everything that we can to prepare to welcome your children back as safely and um, as awesomely as we can because we are here to educate your children and to love them and to bring them closer to Christ. Um, and every day when I get home from work, no matter what time it is, I always try to put everything to the side and go on a long walk so that I can just let the day wash over me and take a moment and reflect and pray and just ask God to continue to be with me and guide me in the right direction. And, and some days are easier than others. Um, and I know that's true of you as well, based on the conversations that we've had. Um, but just know that we are doing everything that we can as a result of all of the unknowns that are out there um, to provide a safe place for your children, um, a place that they can count on, a place that you can count on, and that this is that place and we're doing everything that we can. So I encourage you to continue to keep us in your prayers as we continue to pray for you. Please continue to reach out to me, to our staff. If there's anything that we can do, if there are any questions that we can answer for you, um, if there's anything that we can do to further help you make a decision that's right for your family. Um, you know, 
as, as parents, the best decision that there is for your family. And we fully support that for you and for your family. So know that we are always on your side. We are always here to support you and that we are here to love your children and to help create and to cultivate in them the, the people that God has called them to be. So we are so excited to welcome them back safely in the fall and know that we are doing everything that we can to do that in a safe and orderly way and that we will continue to communicate with you as we find out more. Um, and our prayers are with you and continue to pray for us and we'll be in touch with you as soon as we know more.